Good morning, Jen Glidden coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and today I want to talk about the two components of trust. We all make decisions about who we can trust almost right off the bat, but that doesn't mean that we're making the best decision about who we can trust. So I want to break down the two critical components of trust, and those are character and competence. So for you to be able to trust someone, you need to know that they have good character and they are also competent at what they're doing. Um, let me give you an example of where you might trust someone in one situation but not in another. Um, for example, my husband is wonderful, loving. I trust that his character is absolutely um, impeccable and always going to be looking out for my best interests. However, his competence in something like brain surgery would not be uh, strong or high on the scale. So I would trust his character, but I would not see that he had competence in brain surgery, so he wouldn't be my choice for a brain surgeon that I trust, right? There are lots of other things that I trust my husband with. Um, that isn't one of them because of the competence factor. Now, on the other hand, if you're looking for a brain surgeon and you've heard that this brain surgeon is the best guy out there, he's highly, highly competent, but then you've also heard something about his character that maybe he isn't always um, the person with the most integrity. Maybe he isn't necessarily going to be honest with you about whether you even need brain surgery. He may be the best brain surgeon out there, but do you even need brain surgery? Um, so in that case, I wouldn't choose that brain surgeon. I'd look for another one. Uh, so those two components, character and competence are so important when you're looking for who you can trust and also when you're becoming a person who is trustworthy. So as you are looking to build a team or um, perhaps grow your business, you need to come across, you need to, to, through your actions and your words, communicate that you're a person of character. Um, you can do this humbly with humility you don't need to be prideful about your character, but you need to communicate your character and also your competence, how you're getting results, um, that you are the person who can meet the needs for your client. So those are the two components, and today I want to encourage you to really evaluate where you stand and then also um, the people who you trust closely are, are those people that you should be trusting um, who who are both people of character and people of competence. So uh, that's my message for you today. If it was helpful, please click the like button, the thumbs up, and share it with a friend so someone else can benefit. Talk to you soon.